How to calculate speed of waves on string? Consider a pulse moving on a taut string to the right with a uniform speed V measured relative to a stationary frame of reference. Let's take small element of the string of length delta S. On magnifying this element, we notice that it forms an approximate arc of a circle of radius R. The element has centripetal acceleration equal to V square by R, which is supplied by components of the force T, whose magnitude is equal to the tension in the string. The force T acts on both sides of the element and is tangent to the arc. The horizontal components of tension cancel out and each vertical component T sin theta acts radial towards the arc center. Hence, the total radial force on the element is 2 times T sin theta. Since theta is small, therefore we can use the small angle approximation that is, sin theta is nearly equal to theta. So the total radial force Fr is equal to 2 T theta. The element has a mass M equal to mu into delta S where mu is equal to mass per unit length. Since the element forms part of a circle and subtends an angle 2 theta at the center, therefore delta S is equal to R 2 theta. Thus, mass of the element M is equal to 2 mu into R theta. Applying Newton's second law on this element in the radial direction, we get 2 T theta equal to M V square by R. On substituting the value of mass, we get speed of wave equal to square root of t divided by mu. Let's solve an example to understand this concept better. Question. A uniform string of length 20 meter is suspended from a rigid support. A short wave pulse is introduced at its lowest end. It starts moving up the string. The time taken to reach the support is take g equal to 10 meter per second square. This question was asked in JEE Main 2016 exam. The options are Solution As learnt earlier, speed of wave in the string is given by the relation V equal to square root of T by mu where T is the tension in the string and mu is equal to mass of string M divided by length of string L. Let's call this equation 1. That is, V is equal to square root of T into L divided by M. In this string, the tension at every point is different due to the weight of string below that point. Therefore, tension at distance x from the lowest end will be M by L into Gx. On substituting the value of tension in equation 1, we get velocity equal to square root of Gx. Or we can write dx by dt equal to square root of gx. Simplifying this, we get x raised to the power minus 1 by 2 into dx equal to square root g into dt. Let's integrate both sides. Integration from 0 to L x raised to the power minus 1 by 2 dx equal to square root g into integration from 0 to t dt. Solving this, we get 2 into square root L equal to square root g into t. Therefore, time t is equal to 2 into square root of L by g. On substituting the values of length of string 20 meter and gravity 10 meter per second square, we get time t equal to 2 root 2 seconds. Hence, option A is correct. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, Download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.